anti-malware executable, aka Windows Defender, can eat up your CPU and your computer memory. And that is why today I'm going to show you exactly how you can just ex how you can just turn it off and make sure that that doesn't happen. I've got two solutions. They should both be down in the chapters, which you can find in the, in the description or just in the timeline of this video. Anyways, starting off with the first one, you go, well, you're going to want to go to the search over here, and then you want to type in task and task scheduler should come up. You can also just look up task scheduler. Then you want to go over to run as administrator over here or right click on it and then select run as administrator. Then in here, um, this should be what opens up. You want to click on this arrow under task scheduler library and then again on Microsoft, just like so. Then locate the Windows folder and collapse it as well. There we go. And then in here, you should be able to find under the W, so you need to scroll down a bit. Um, and let's uh, extend the size of this. There we go, so you can see it a bit better. Under Windows, you should be able to find Windows Defender right over here. Once you are here, um, you can hover above each four of these things over here to check what they are. You should have um, the cache maintenance um, and the defender cleanup, scheduled scan, and defender verification. Make sure that you locate the scheduled scan. Then you can double click on that. Then you want to go over to conditions over here. And then you want to make sure that a few things here are ticked. So make sure you tick start the task only if the computer is idle for, and you can just leave this as it is. And you also want to make sure that you tick this box over here. And you can just leave this at any connection. Then you can click on OK and your issue should be fixed. Now your problem is not always going to be fixed and that is why there is a second solution. So the second solution is to download any anti-malware program you want. I recommend Avast. Then what you want to do is you want to download that and that will actually replace Windows Defender. If it doesn't automatically replace it, then you'll need to configure that in settings over here and then under privacy and security. When you go into Avast, you want to make sure that you disable background scanning. Um, and what this does is it replaces Windows Defender. So Windows Defender won't background scan. And um, now the idea is that Avast will background scan instead of Windows Defender. But um, if you turn off background scanning for any other um, for for any other anti malware service, that will replace Windows Defender. Um, then that should just work just fine as well. Anyways, that was that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.